AITA because I disrespected my father-in-law in his own home. My wife and I are currently living with her father temporarily. He is a very fastidious person, which I respect. He likes to devote every Saturday to cleaning. I picked up my oldest child from my ex Friday night. He is nine. My father-in-law wanted him to participate in cleaning the whole house today. I said he didn't need to because he hadn't participated in creating any mess. My father-in-law insisted everyone in the house needs to participate. But I said no, that he needed to unpack and settle in. My father-in-law was very insistent. He said that under his roof he would insist upon his way of doing things. My wife said we need to respect her father and abide by his rules when we are in his house. I said no, I said he can kick me out if he wants. But I make the decisions for my son. And the answer is no. My father-in-law has been furious all day and demanded an apology. I apologized. But I still didn't make my son participate in the cleaning. My wife is upset with me for upsetting her father. I just feel that I make the decisions for my children. Regardless of whose home I am in. Does that belief make me an asshole? Cleaning all day seems inappropriate for a 9-year-old's first day in a new space. Or at all. It feels like there should have been a middle path here. Info. Is your fill incapable of moderation and compromise? Was the expectation really that a 9-year-old would spend an entire day cleaning? NTA. He literally just walked in the house. Give the kid a break. It always bothers me that people who insist on cleaning all the time act like it has to be done. Immediately right when they want to do it. Like relax. Nothing needs cleaned that badly. Especially if you're doing it every week. I'm going to go against the grain here and say NTA. I think you need to clean. And in the future your son needs to participate in cleaning as well. However. This is his first day at a new place. He's adjusting. I wouldn't put a kid to work immediately at a new home without giving them a chance to settle in. First and as you pointed out. He didn't make the mess. I think he should definitely participate in the Saturday cleaning once he's settled in more. But it is a little wild to have him do it on day one. Absolutely NTA. And I am gaping at all who went the other way. If your son had been there a few days or a week or if he. Between Friday night and Saturday morning. Wrecked the entire house. Then yes he should participate in the cleaning of same. But this kid hadn't even been there a day and is being expected to participate in cleaning the entire house? A place he never set foot in until the night before? He's nine. He doesn't even know the lay of the land yet. It's perfectly fine to ask OP's son to unpack and tidy his area. If OP's son asks to help, let him help. Otherwise, at least give the poor kid a few days before tossing whole house cleaning at him. Use that time to decide on some age-appropriate chores. NTA it is important for kids to learn to help clean. We all live here. We all clean. Your FIL's attitude seems to be. I'm the boss. I'm the king. Everyone has to listen to me and do exactly what I command. He's on a power trip. Your wife has no compassion for her stepson. The first few days can be hard. A better way to handle it would be. This is what the household does every Saturday. This time you can watch. And next time we'll find things that you can do. Make sure he is shown how Phil likes things done. And. Please. Provide a reward for all of you. After we're done cleaning. We go for ice cream. Or order pizza for dinner. Or watch a movie. Something fun. If your Phil doesn't compromise and your wife doesn't treat your son well. Remember, he is the most important one here. Edited to add, he demands an apology. He insists on things going his way. It's his house. Your wife doesn't want to upset her father. Why? Will he throw a toddler's temper tantrum? 
I would suggest leaving him to his own devices and move out. He sounds like a major asshole. NTA but I think it could have been handled better. You could have compromised and said something like let someone get settled and he and I will clean up the dishes after dinner. And while he gets settled I'll do blank. Now that being said I am all for kids doing chores that are age appropriate and especially when they make a mess. But it's pretty weird if you're filled to expect someone who just arrived there to help clean the house. The kid is there for visitation not free labor. NTA. This is really bizarre. A sane person would simply expect your family, you, wife and son, to do your collective share of the housework and would let you decide whether you want your son to help you or if you want to do his part of the chores for him. You're the parents. So that decision should be entirely up to you. If you say, we'll take care of X. Our son doesn't need to do it, then that should be that. Your FIL's fixation on dictating your son's behavior is deranged. His house or not, I'd reconsider staying there and I wouldn't leave my son alone with this weirdo because who knows. That other kind of crazy he might pull when you're not there to stand up for your kid. Info what is the custody arrangement? NTA. Your son needs time to adjust to this new place before cleaning. Your father-in-law and Reddit are being very unsympathetic. NTA sorry but that's ridiculous to me. The kid just got in and expected to clean first thing? NTA. The 9 yo didn't participate in making any mess and he just had to travel to get to where he is. Staying. Op has said in comments that the son will be staying for a few weeks. So next Saturday he can help. You know. After the 9 yo has settled and actually contributed to the mess. If I let a friend stay with me for three weeks while they were waiting on the paperwork for Theer Place. To finalize and they happen to arrive on my cleaning day. It would be the biggest awe move for me to insist they help clean the house. Guests are never expected to clean up after me in my house or do chores. Unless they stay long enough to do them. Or they make a mess that requires a lot of effort to clean. If you wouldn't do it to an adult friend, then it shouldn't be expected of a 9 year child either. The kid can help next cleaning day. After he has settled and actually contributed to the mess. So many people here are missing the part where this is a split custody arrangement. Which already puts a ton of stress on the child who is forced to switch houses and routines. It's gross to think that adults are demanding this child be put to work immediately. Phil demanding access to child labor is reprehensible. He isn't the parent. And shouldn't be trying to take Op's place as dad to the 9 yo. There's an obvious answer to this dilemma. Your Phil is providing a nice home so your 9-year-old son is in a safe and clean environment. A 9-year-old is capable of understanding reciprocity. Why do you think he should only have to clean when he makes a mess? Isn't it more appropriate to explain that helping to clean is a gesture of appreciation for the kindness Phil has shown letting you and your son live, stay there? YTA and not just for disrespecting your Phil in his own house. You have also let your son down for not giving him the opportunity to learn that it's best to pay. Kindness with kindness. NTA his house his rules. Your son your rules. Seriously how much work did he expect a 9 year old to do? You told your wife if her father wanted you to move then you would. He has not said he wanted you to move. He disrespected you with your son so you disrespected him by not following his rules. Now he knows not to try to parent your son just because you live in his house. Good for you he had no right to try to parent your child. I don't care if you live with him or not. Just because you move in with someone you should not have to be their slave to show you are grateful. This was just a power play by him and he lost. NTA. Your Phil was engaged in a primitive dominance display. 
Your son doesn't deserve to be made a pawn. Wow. This is the kid's first full day there. He should be unpacking and becoming familiar with things. Including the neighbor if needed. I'm going to say NTA. Part of the orientation process can be advising son that on Saturday you clean and arrange age. Appropriate chores. Op isn't saying the son won't ever clean. Just not the first day. The fill can be rigid that is his right. But, does he have to be? Can we make an exception as long as Op and his partner are cleaning? Heck, I'd offer to do their share if I was the partner so that the parent can chat to the child about expectations. Because we know this is going to be an argument later as the kid settles in for the next few weeks. Build the foundation of expectation so the kid isn't confused and getting in trouble. Then move forward. Your fill sounds a bit controlling. And I am sure your wife is used to it and just goes along for peace sake. NTA it was your first custody day since you moved in. It was a power move. And you set your boundary. Your fill should set expectations for cleaning. But it's crazy that they expected your 9 years old to do on depth deep cleaning first day. This may not be where you want to live long term. Sorry. NTA. Your father-in-law is though. NTA your kids your rules if he doesn't like that he shouldn't let you stay there. Your wife forgot her wedding vows they said something about forsaking all others not being a daddy's girl and siding with dad over husband. NTA it's your son's first day in. I assume. A new environment. Go you for giving him time to settle in and advocating for him. It's neurotic your Phil is so hell-bent on a 9-yo cleaning up after others. Regardless of the living situation, that is not your son's responsibility. In Ta, if that's your time to spend with your child it shouldn't be spent cleaning someone else's house. Hopefully you're not living with your Phil for too long. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.